I have bought a 130-year-old cottage in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Many people have said that I am naive to buy a fixer-upper having no building skills, and it's true that I am amateur at best. <laughs> but listen, I am on a journey to feeling more alive and less alone. None of us are here on this earth for very long, and I think it's pretty outrageous to not shoot your shot at the life you truly want to be living. Life isn't always easy, and I think there's a real magic in pursuing beauty and intention despite the darkness of the world. I bought Dreamwood Cottage because this place specifically makes me feel like I belong and I know it's going to challenge me to grow into the woman I have the potential to be and I dream that one day maybe my future family can live here as well. If you're interested in home renovations or you just want a friend, come on over and stay a while. Welcome to Dreamwood. Okay. I have either made a terrible mistake or a brilliant impulsive decision. And this week we get to find out together. <laughs> Welcome back to Dream a Cottage. Uh, this week we are continuing the study renovation. Let me give you a quick recap on all the progress I've made so far. This is what the room looked like when I started. It had this awful popcorn ceiling, which I scraped down. It had this very stinky old rug, which I pulled up to discover original hardwood floors underneath. They were in rough shape, but I was pretty excited about it. I then invited my friend Ben over, who is a carpenter by trade, because my dream was to have a beautiful built-in bookshelf on this wall. Ben very keenly pointed out though that the wall was crooked, so we had to take down the old wall, which consisted of a lot of lath and plaster, which was quite messy, but fun work, I have to admit. We then had the task of building a new wall. I decided to delete the closet in this room, that way the built-in bookshelf could span the entire wall, and that extra room can then go towards the primary bedroom, which will be the next project. Ben then helped me run all of the new electrical wiring for the room, we hung new drywall, and then I got to the tedious work, which was just days of priming, mudding, sanding over and over again. When that was complete, it was time for the fun part, which was the design elements. I invited Ben back over so we could finish designing the built-in bookshelf. He then helped me install this pretty bold but stunning wallpaper. This was the first bold design choice for this room. I then went ahead and decided to continue those bold choices with a pretty bold color. Next on the to-do list was to tackle the floors. Like I mentioned earlier, these floors were in really rough shape, but I really wanted to do my best to try to bring them back to life. And that's what you saw me do last week. I did days of sanding and I'm actually pretty excited about what these floors could become. This week, we have three exciting projects on hand. Number one, we get to finish these floors. We get to choose a stain color, stain the floor, and then seal it, finish it. Number two, Ben is coming back over. He's coming back over because we need to buy lumber for the beautiful built-in bookshelf here. Um, and God bless him, he has offered to help me with my questionable decision, which is project number three this week. <laughs> I impulsively purchased a chandelier. A chandelier. I don't know what came over me. I, I really don't. I just saw it. I loved it. It was 47% off. So I bought it. And then I thought about it. And all the questions came to my mind. But you know what? Sometimes when something feels right and it's 47% off, you just gotta go for it. Does not necessarily match the design of the rest of the room, but I think that could be pretty cool. I don't know. Am I an interior designer? Absolutely not, but a woman knows what a woman wants. That requires uh, cutting a hole in my ceiling, okay? So I'm very grateful that Ben is going to be coming over because he actually knows way more about electricity than I do. And I would like a witness if I end up falling through my ceiling. So that's what we're doing this week. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Okay, get excited because first things first, we need to unmask the wallpaper wall. That way I can accurately choose what color stain I think will be best. So this will be the first time we get to see the wallpaper up against the paint color. In my journal recently, I wrote down three little words that feel very important to me in this season of my life. Possibility is safe. 
Renovating this old house has reminded me again and again how important it is to not view possibility as risk or as something that could go wrong. First thing color we're testing out is Sedona. <laughs> Ooh, I really like this. Whoa, okay. And I'm gonna test color number two, which is black cherry. Ooh. Wow, this is much lighter. Whoa, so different. Sedona, black cherry. I feel like the choice is pretty obvious. I know people are going to ask, and the main reason why I'm not just leaving the planks as their natural color, it's because there are some pretty serious water damage areas in this room. And the stain is really gonna help minimize all that and make everything look really beautiful and streamlined. When I view my decisions as safe possibilities and not risks, decisions become a lot easier to make. For example, like choosing a stain color. Risk by definition means the possibility of something bad. So taking a risk just means taking a possibility just with a negative expectation. I think removing the expectations of outcomes, it just makes life way more enjoyable. We have a wildly exciting day ahead of us. But first, can you believe how beautiful these floors look? I just feel so lucky. I didn't think I would have floors half as beautiful as this. I ended up doing two coats of stain and two coats of sealer, and these floors are just coming to life beautifully. Uh, today, we have to do the finish layer. We're gonna be using Bona Traffic HD. Everyone says it's the best, so that's what I'm going with. Um, and that'll just give it a real protected, shiny, overall clean look. So hopefully by the end of today, these floors will be done. So I'm gonna try to get at least two coats on today. Um, and then in other very exciting news, uh, Ben is arriving today and so is the chandelier. So we'll get to unbox the chandelier together, see if I still like it and if it'll work. Um, and then Ben and I can scheme up how to install it and also scheme up a materials list for the built-in bookshelf and maybe go get that lumber if this weather clears up. But we're getting more flurries, if you can believe it. Um, anyway, I'm very excited. So I think we just got to get to it. Let's get to it. So going back to what I was writing about in my journal, it's been very helpful to remind myself that it's safe to indulge the possibilities of my life. Very rarely is there an outcome that cannot be changed by simply indulging another possibility. Life can be full of risk or full of possibility with uncontrollable outcomes. That little perception shift, I know for me, Depending on which way I looked at it, I would live two very different lives. For example, this room would look very different if I viewed my design choices as risks. I would have made very different choices. Ben has gotten here just in time for the great unboxing of my potential grand mistake. Who knows? Who knows? This is the chandelier. Ben, are you excited for this? 
Okay, Ben, I'm gonna want your honest opinion on this because I don't know if I'm gonna love it or hate it yet. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> okay. Hello. Okay. Oh, God. Ben, I will have you know, this was an impulse purchase. Okay. I saw it. I loved it in the moment, and then I started thinking about it, and then started questioning everything. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your support. <laughs> ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. Close your eyes. Um, okay. Close your eyes. Eyes are closed. What do we think? Whoa. <laughs> yep. Many people would consider this to be maybe modern, but it's unique and weird and complicated enough where people, at least I got confused on is it retro or is it modern? They call that timeless. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. But it has the black from the wallpaper. So come here, come take a look at it. I don't know, have you ever seen a chandelier like this? Um, no, not quite like this. No. <laughs> I think it could work. I, th I actually really love it. I'm not gonna lie, I really love it. I still really love it. Really well, like it's kind of it. trippy. I just see what it looks like once it's hung, installed, and lights in it. I'm imagining some pretty nice shadows. It casts light upward and downward, so it's really warm indirect light, which is nice. It's nice. <laughs> I don't know. Is it outrageous? It's gonna look nice. You think so? I think so. Okay. You want me to look at the floors? Yes. What? <laughs> they look really different. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so the last I saw these, you were like peeling carpet out. And <laughs> we put paper down. I think it's gonna look really good. These are sweet. Oh, there you are. Come on over. We're in the kitchen. You know that I have been committed to this journey of becoming a better cook. And today I am so excited about the recipe that we're gonna try because I've been holding on to it for a while, but it's not every day that I have someone else here at the cottage that can taste test with me. And this recipe is just so hearty, so I didn't wanna try it just by myself. Today, we are making vegetarian shepherd's pie. Now, I'm gonna be adding cheese to this recipe, and the only other animal product that's in it is Greek yogurt. So if you are completely plant-based, you can very easily become vegan. You can also very easily add an animal protein if you eat that too. So I say we just get into it. Just peeling potatoes. <laughs> it's been a fun exercise for me to reflect on the possibilities of my life because it forces me to realize where my biggest fears lie and where I've been hesitating to make decisions. It's easy to indulge the possibilities of life when stakes are low, like trying a new recipe or choosing a stain color. These are pretty easily remedied if outcomes aren't exactly desirable, um, but it can feel much harder to indulge the possibilities of life when the stakes are higher. For me right now, those possibilities center around finding a partner and taking the next step in my career. And I realize that I've been holding myself back because I've been viewing these possibilities as risks not worth taking. And I don't want that to be the case anymore. Thank you. 
<laughs> Just come to my height, Ben. Come to your height. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> better? Depth of field. No one will know you're three feet behind me. Okay, anyway, today is the big day. <laughs> I have loaded up on some of our favorite snacks uh, because I know that this job maybe isn't the most fun, but Ben has still so kindly offered to do it. So I'm getting all the snacks ready to make it more fun. And we got, we ran into the old Ace Hardware. We got a fan and chandelier ceiling hanger. And I've learned just how expensive pole saws are, so. Yeah, I'm making one pole. I know. <laughs> In our perfect ceiling. For $43, I get to make one hole. Anyway. Ooh, and tell them the fun part. Oh, we get to crawl through the attic where there's like 18 inches of loose insulation. Is that the fun part? Yeah! Oh, it is the fun it's part. Fun part. <laughs> yeah. And you just yell at me. Okay. That's the right one. Got it, boss. Power's off. So you're gonna get the measure? Yeah. And I can drill it. Do a little pilot. Move it. Okay, now we get to go exploring in the attic. So you prefer the drill bit? Do you want to go too? Yeah, I want to go. Okay, we're just going to be careful. Ben's nervous. I don't think I've ever looked that at. Oh, boy. That looks fun. <laughs> so I think about where the room probably is. Hmm. Hey! I'm wiggling! Dig through that. Yay. Nice. Oh my god. Wow. You did it. Oh, that was fun. Thank you so much. All right, well, after a quick, oh, <laughs> there you are, hello. Okay, after a quick wardrobe change and lunch, uh, now we get to do the fun part. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling good. Yeah? I'm happy to be done with the uh, crawl. Yeah. Did this snacks and the kombucha make it better? Oh, um, immensely. <laughs> it's all worth it. Do a lot for, Chips and it's so good. <laughs> Here it is. Honestly, I love it more and more every time I see it. Here we go. The crazy crown. Wow. Here we go. Just tell me about how high you are. Oh. Oh, yeah. Baby, take me off. Uh, give me. 
Five inches. Oh, that's pretty wild. <laughs> pretty wild. I love it. Ben? Yes, Rosa? I'm gonna go get bulbs. What? <laughs> you got bulbs? <laughs> bulbs you get in that chandelier? Three. Oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so pleased with this impulse purchase. I love it. Really, it really just pulls the room together, you know? Does it? I think it's perfect. I think it's perfect. Okay, ready? Woo! <laughs> I really love it. <laughs> that's really nice. Are you ready? It is safe to indulge the possibilities of my life. Very rarely is there an outcome that cannot be changed by indulging yet another possibility. Possibility is what makes this life beautiful.